broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus. You're watching Mustang News. Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Tuesday, October 15th. I'm Olivia DiGennaro, and Mustang News starts now. Today is bid day for men rushing IFC fraternities. The men went through interviews with the fraternities this past weekend. Tonight at 6 p.m., they find out which ones will offer them bids. After that, they have 24 hours to accept their bid, making Wednesday the day of silence. During those 24 hours, fraternities are not allowed to communicate with any of their potential new members. On Thursday morning, however, you can expect to see all the new members representing their new brotherhoods. And in Cal Poly sports news, Elise Kriegoff is the new Cal Poly record holder for goals scored in a single season. Kriegoff scored her 16th goal this season in the Mustangs game against Hawaii. Colleen Cassis held the former record of 15 goals in a single season. She broke that record in 1992. Some people ran all the way from Slow to Pismo Beach this past weekend. Lisa Diaz shows us why. The Cuesta College Athletic Department has some new spending money. We raised probably $100,000 for the college. People from all over came to the San Luis Obispo area Saturday to run from the city to the sea. We had uh, 2,500 participants, so 500 in the 5K and 2,000 in the half marathon. Um, we lucked out and had beautiful weather, uh, which means everybody gets to run fast and um, stays healthy at the same time. The beautiful course makes this race a popular one. It kind of makes a little destination weekend for us to get a condo for the weekend and and make a make kind of a group group trip out of it and based around the the race. The event is followed by a family friendly festival at Dinosaur Caves Park. The City to the Sea Half Marathon and 5K is the Cuesta Athletic Department's biggest fundraiser. Some runners use the opportunity to raise money both for the Cougars and for their own cause. Running for water so that people um, particularly in South Sudan can have water um, and they don't presently have water. Most people there, the average walk is what, six kilometers um, on a daily basis to get fresh water. The first thing the Cougars will do with the funds they raised from the race is retrofit the long jump area on their track. I have a special place in my heart for the college just because of the events they put on. I enjoy the athleticism and the, the quality of events. Lisa Diaz, Mustang News. The race director recommends signing up six weeks in advance if you are interested in running the city to see next year. Students are taking classes in the new Warren J. Baker Center for Science and Math this quarter. At 189,000 square feet, it's the, the building is larger than three football fields. It's also the tallest building in San Luis Obispo, standing 108 feet tall. The building was designed sustainably with recycled steel for the framing. It's just really good to know that when we do build new buildings that we do keep those um, environmental needs in mind. And you don't have to be a math or science major to use the building. GE classes are also offered and there are study spots on every floor. Cal Poly's improvised comedy group is starting off the fall quarter with sold out shows. Smile and Nod took the stage twice to a packed house over the weekend at the HP Davidson Music Center on campus. The turnout at the shows were so high, in fact, that show organizers had to turn some people away. The theme this past show was battles between ancient Greeks and Greek life. Frat guys, one, two, three. Get back in here, frat guys. All right. If you missed that show, you can catch Smile and Not Again this coming Saturday. The first show starts at 7 p.m. and the second one starts at 8.30. Tickets are available for $5 at the door. Career Services is putting on two workshops on campus today. The first workshop focuses on applying to graduate school. That's from 11 to 12. The second one focuses on writing personal statements for graduate or professional school and is from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Both workshops are in the Student Services Building 124, Room 117. Thanks for tuning in to today's Mustang News. You can find constant broadcast coverage at mustangnews.net. You can also find our weekly half-hour broadcasts on Charter Channel 19, Campus Channel 2, and UHTV Channel 7. Have a wonderful day, Cal Poly.